Welcome to this special feature from Total Eclipse DFW. Today we sat down with Deb Ross, publisher and CEO of KidsOutAndAbout.com and BeyondTheNest.com, co-chair of the American Astronomical Society's National Eclipse Task Force and chairperson of the Rochester Eclipse Task Force to talk about the upcoming total solar eclipse in DFW on April 8th. Thank you, Deb, for sharing your insights with us. How to select an eclipse viewing location. What you want to be is not near any photosensitive light source, if possible, especially if the forecast is for clouds. Let me back up and explain that. If it is sunny, the air around you is like deep dusk. You can still see people um, and you see that whole celestial phenomenon in the sky. You see the sun's corona, you see the, the stars come out. If it's cloudy, then what happens during totality is that suddenly in that last minute, your world plunges into pitch darkness. Hand in front of your face, pitch darkness kind of darkness. And so it is no less profound than a total solar eclipse in the sun, but it's different. And that's when it's most important that you make sure you're not near any photosensitive light source. No city, no town these days has a big giant plug or a you know, a circuit breaker to turn those street lights off. That's not the way they work. They're individually photosensitive. So it's incumbent on each person to make sure they orient themselves and position themselves in a place where there are no lights that are just automatically going to go on.